Hi, I'm Cameron with Murph Electric Bikes, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to change out your brake pads with the Tektro Hydraulic Disc Brakes. So we'll start with the tools that we're going to need. The first one being a three millimeter Allen key, a five millimeter Allen key, a piston press is optional, but it's a good tool to have, and a flathead screwdriver. You're also going to need a new set of brake pads. We'll put a link to all the parts in the description box. The first step is going to be to take off the caliper from the bike. So to do that, you're going to need your five millimeter Allen key. And there's just two bolts, one on the top right here and one on the bottom that you're going to unscrew. Get the top one out. And the caliper should just come right off. So our next step is going to be to take out this little retaining pin in here, right there. And we're going to use our three millimeter Allen key to do that. Put it in there and unscrew. It should pop right out. After that, we're just going to take out the brake pads by putting some pressure on the top up here. And they slide right out. So now we're going to get our new pads out and take them out of the packaging. Um, very important here that you don't touch the surface of the pads because you don't want any contamination on there. So most pads will come with a new spring clip on there. Looks like this. And that's kind of what holds the pads together. So we'll take these out, like I said, using care not to touch the surface of the pads. And then we'll put the pads in that retaining clip like so. Just like that. Now we're going to go back down to our caliper. And you can see there's a good amount of dust in there, so it might be a good idea to clean this out before we put these back in. Um, but just for the sake of the video, we're going to put them back in now. Slowly insert them like that. And then we'll put that retaining uh, pin back in. So just start the threads on there. And then use that three millimeter Allen key again to tighten it down. Now we're going to put it back on the disc, or back on the, uh, the frame of the bike. So also a good idea here to not touch the actual disc on the bike. It's another source of contamination that will cause your brakes to make funny sounds. And this one right here seems like it's a little bit too tight to fit back on that rotor. So we're going to take our flathead screwdriver now. and just put that between the pads. Very important that this is clean as well. Try to space these pads out. Looks like we got a little bit more space in there. So we're just gonna put these bolts back in. Starting with finger tightening and then take our five millimeter Allen key again and just slowly tighten these guys down. And as I'm doing this, I'm looking down from the top up here, looking at the rotor and trying to make sure there's light on both sides of it. That way you can ensure that your brake pads aren't going to be rubbing. Tighten the top one down. And then we'll give her a spin and see if it needs any more adjustment.
So as you can see there, there is a little bit of rub. It sounds like it's coming from one spot, but we'll still try to adjust the pads and see if we can fix that. Unscrew this top one a little bit, and then just go about a quarter turn, maybe a half turn to loosen that bottom one. Again, using that same principle, trying to look and make sure there's light on both sides of the rotor. Sometimes also it makes it easy if you spin the tire and adjust the caliper very carefully to get it in a spot where it's not gonna be rubbing. One final turn, and there's no more rub. One thing that's fairly common is that when you put the new pads in, there might not be a whole lot of space to work with. So you need to use the flathead screwdriver or the piston press if you have that tool, and just wedge them, uh, push them out a little bit more so that you have more space to work with. We hope you find this video useful, and if you guys have any issues, feel free to give us a call or email, and we'll see you next time.